Hello, this is the voice of Dylan Flynn. Hi, this is the voice of Trevor Ickrath. And you are listening to Wordle with Friends, the show where two friends do the Wordle. Christmas has come and gone, but we're still here to do the Wordle the day afterwards. It's Boxing Day, Dylan. Is there anything that you're planning on returning this year? I feel like I'm just going to keep everything I have in case it becomes like a coveted item down the road, even if I hate it, you know? Sure. I mean, yeah, from that perspective, it, everything is an investment. It's also the final night of Hanukkah, so I'm I'm excited to have the fully lit menorah going make some latkes tonight gonna be great cool what does the final night of hanukkah symbolize well it was the last night that that tiny little bit of oil that should have only lasted a few hours kept burning so that the jews who were hiding out could uh, i don't know see each other and shit weird how that lasted for longer than they thought it would is that ever explained in the torah it sure is it was a miracle from god oh yeah, of course. It, he did it, right. Thanks for that one, big bud. Yeah. Today is Monday, December 26, 2022, and Trevor and I are about to attempt to solve Wordle number 555. So this is your warning to turn back now if you've not yet done today's puzzle, as there will be spoilers ahead. We got triple fives up in here? 555, five, five, just like a fake phone number in a movie. Yeah. How Hollywood, wow. Uh, Maybe it's uh, synergy to promote the new film Babylon. Oh, sure. Um, Which I saw last night with my mother and can report is a giant turd. Isn't there like uh, dicks and debauchery in that one? Oh, yeah. Things things get a little crazy. To quote the guy sitting behind me in the theater, this movie is sick. I don't even know what I'm watching right now. (laughs) Well, we're kind of limited on Hanukkah-themed words to play. I could only think of this one, and it's perfectly fine, so I'm going to play it. Okay. Hey, there you go. I got two yellow letters for playing the word eight. Eight. This being the eighth and final night of Hanukkah. Yeah, that's that's true. You also could have played light, right? Like you light a menorah. Yeah, and it is the festival of lights. That's a pretty similar word, so I'm not going to play it. Um, You got two yellows? That's right. Okay, I'm going to try this one then. Ooh, I got one yellow and one green. I played the word rough. Wow, rough. Yeah. I wonder if uh, you placed my G or something else. Oh, man. I was kind of looking at that spot for a, a, a G. I'd be interested to see what you put behind that G, though, if you are going to move it there. Yeah, curious to see that myself, yeah. if I do. Yeah. I think I saw reported on social media today that uh, today's solve was kind of an annoying one. Um, I believe in our buddy Discord, we had two X out of sixes today. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to play this word. Here we go. Cool. Damn. I'm up to three green letters. All right. And I played the word badge. Badge. Three greens. Yeah. You know, I didn't use another letter from rough. That was kind of a dumb move on my part. Hmm. But I think that will make this solvable yeah i think i have enough information now probably i think i see it hmm Ooh, there's another one though is there yeah i gotta go with my first thought Mm. four green letters no i played the word nudge nudge okay then then looks like we're primed to tie again today i think so right there's only one other thing this could be yeah, and I think it's a really tasty treat. Oh, yeah. Absolutely something that you're going to have a lot of around the holidays. Or euphemistically, a factory that does not produce tasty treats. Let's give it a shot. Oh, no. Are you fucking shitting me? I got four green letters. Really? What? I played the word fudge. I was I was just about to head around the corner from where uh, they make the milk and the lemonade. Are you telling me I should replan my day? What's going on? I could have sworn it was going to be fudge. What is this word? This is not good news for me. This could be a No, bitch. no, because there's got to only be one more thing on the table, right? Yeah. Oh, boy. Maybe there's more. You know, maybe there are a couple of things that look like this that we just don't even know about. Oh, God damn it! I just saw it, I think. Did you? Yeah. The thing that I'm looking at is Pudge. <laughs> I did not even see Pudge, but yeah. No? Is that how you spell i don't think that's how you spell that no it definitely is it's just not usually you would say pudgy but i mean pudge like a little bit of pudge you know he's been carrying around a little bit of pudge lately then what did you see something else oh wow yeah it's got to be that what if it's pudge though i don't know i guess we're gonna see i guess we will all right here we go okay 
All right, I got five green letters. All right, here we go. I, it's got to be judged then. I'm going to give it a shot. Let's see. Yeah. Five green letters for a Trevor victory this late in the month. I don't know, guys. It's not looking so good for the Dillmeister. Yeah, I won't judge you for missing that one, though. That was a tough one. Yeah, it was a rough one for sure. I certainly wouldn't judge our listeners for sending us an email either, because that's something I would love for them to do. They could do that by sending us one at wordlefriends at gmail.com. They could also find the show on TikTok or Twitter by searching Wordle Friends. And if they're watching on YouTube, they should subscribe to the channel. They should click the bell icon to get notifications, and they should leave us some comments. Gavel sound, gavel sound, gavel sound. But for now and for always, I've been the Honorable Dylan Flynn. I've been the Honorable Trevor Ickrath, and we'll see you back here in the courtroom where friend is a five-letter word. Dismissed. This has been a production of The Lighthouse Keepers Company. Culture illuminated.